Hi, my name is Dominic Finnelli with Alford Media Lighting, and today we'll be discussing how to set up a wireless access point for the Grand MA. When connecting your access point, it's very important that we use the LAN or local area network port to connect to the console uh, as well as the switch or to our computer when configuring. So now we're going to set up our wireless access point. Uh, to do that, we'll go into uh, Applications folder. Uh, and in the, in the Utilities folder, uh, you will have a utility called Airport Utility. This is what we use to set up our access point. Um, if the access point like this one is new out of the box, uh, you'll see it under Other Devices. Uh, if it was previously set up, you'll see it graphically uh, represented under the globe. We need to give it a network name, so we'll call it Alford MA. Give the base station a name. We'll be using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we click next. And you can next pass this. This is the uh, broadband device or LAN connection. And now the airport will go through some basic setup. And now you'll see your newly set up access point connected to the globe. Once we select our uh, Airport Express, we can hit edit and then we'll get the uh, drop down settings for the airport. What we need to do is adjust the network setting so that it's DHCP and NAT. At the very bottom we'll go into network options and we'll change the IPv4 range to 192.168. This will give us IP addresses 192.168.1.2 through 200, and that falls within the range that the MA will be using. We can hit save. I like to make sure that AirPlay is disabled. And that's it. We can go ahead and update. And we'll let our uh, Express update. All right, once it's done updating, you'll see that it's now present again. You may see some, some alerts, but these generally pertain to not having any internet access. So now that we've got the wireless access point set up, we need to make sure that the console uh, is able to allow remotes. And to do that, we go into setup, we go into global settings. Under global settings, you'll see an option for remotes. We wanna make sure that login enabled is yellow. Once that is done, then your remote uh, will be able to access the MA. So now we'll go over to our iPad and we'll choose our MA remote app. And you can see already that our uh, access point is uh, working because we see the IP address for the uh, console I'm currently on. And just to double check that, we have 192.168.1.99. And if we go into the setup and network control, you can see that this console's IP address is 192.168.1.99. And then if we select the consoles, uh, our login, and that's set by either the guest, admin, or your personal login. You can also set a separate one for remotes specifically. So that's uh, setting up an access point for the Grand MA.